I called on the Lord. Wow. And you know what? He's so good to me. I got to I got my answer. Amen. Amen. I just like what the folks say back in the day. Amen. I woke up in the midnight. I, I just called on him. You know, sometimes you wake up, you don't know exactly what it is. You just call on Jesus. Amen. I remember one time I got through praying and God just hit me. Let's get back on down and pray for somebody. I didn't know who it was. You ever been there? You didn't know who it was, but God had me back on my knees. And God, I don't know what you know. Yeah. And whatever it is, God, you just deliver them. Amen. Because I know that you're here. Yes. God, you just do what you do. Sometimes God will pray for that. You're praying for folks you don't even know. That's right. Amen. Hey, man, that's the kind of God we had. We serve. So we have to thank everybody for a Back to Church Sunday, amen? Amen. This is Back to Church, National Back to Church Sunday for Now, let me go And we see through our efforts that God has blessed, amen? Amen. Amen. You know, like I said, a lot of folks just waiting for you. Amen. Not me, because I don't they're waiting for you. Just the offerings they want you to come to church with. Yeah. And don't you know some folks will come? Amen. 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 And we're not responsible whether they come or not, but we're responsible for planting the seed. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's yeah, a good thing to have God use you. Amen. 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 God is using you. Because people are hurting out there. Yes. Amen. I said people are hurting out yes. there. Yes. They're losing their houses. Uh -huh. They're losing their jobs. Kids have gone out of control. Amen. They're depressed. Amen. And here God has anointed us to come with the good news that I know a doctor. Yes. I said I know a doctor. Amen. In the house. Yes. And his name is yes. Dr. My oxen and fattened cattle have been butchered. 
and everything is ready, come to the wedding man. Mm -hmm. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his field, another to his business. The rest seized his servants, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged. Yeah. He sent his army and destroyed those murderers yes. and burned their city. Yeah. Then he said to his servants, the wedding banquet is ready, but those I invited did not deserve to come. Mm -hmm. Go to the street corners and invite to the banquet anyone you find. Right. So the servants went out into the streets and gathered all the people they could find, both good and bad. And the wedding hall was filled with guests. Yeah. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing his wedding clothes. Yeah. Friend, he answered, how did you get in here without wedding clothes? Yeah. The man was speechless. <laughs> then the king told the attendants, tie him hand and foot and throw him outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Yes. For many are invited, but few are chosen. Well, amen. amen. You may be seated. Amen. 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 That's you may be seated. As we carry on our theme of importance on National Back to Sunday, Back to Church Sunday, of the importance of the invitation. The importance of the invitation. To let you know that nothing really happens unless you give the invitation. Yeah. I said nothing happens. You know, a lot of us, we sit back and we wonder how things work. How do they happen? But nothing happens until you get spiritually empowered to invite someone to come to Jesus. Amen. Folks, we look at this particular text that it was customary to send two invitations to a party. <laughs> the first was to announce to let everybody know, hey, I'm getting ready to have something and you don't want to miss it. You got the invitation before they have to. They come in the bell all the time. We have a song, so it means you don't want to miss it. Sometimes they appeal to us that we really don't want to miss it, do we? <laughs> and in the second, invitation will tell them not only are we preparing it, but you can now come because we're ready. Mm -hmm. As we heard sometime on TV, that is because it's show time. Yeah. <laughs> we find the guests in Jesus' story insulted the host by making excuses when he answered the second invitation. Now, if we look at Israel's history, God gave the first invitation. It came from John the Baptist. It came from Moses. And it came from the prophet. And what did the invitation say? Simply said, repent, 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 for the kingdom of heaven yes. is at hand. Now, the second invitation came from his son, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Now, isn't it funny that folks that should know better don't do better? You know, I always was told that once you know better, you do better. You do better. Amen. But the Bible tells us upon the second invitation from the Son of God himself. Now, the religious leaders accepted the first invitation. Yeah, they thought it was a good idea that they believed that God had called them to be his people. You know, people don't, don't mind being special, do they? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't, don't, don't they say you get more of a hundred than you can on somebody. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. You want something from nobody. You don't go in front and talk about them. No, no. What we say, you butter them up, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. You make them feel good about this set. And I don't care who you are. You make them feel good about this set. You can get almost anything you want, can't you? Yeah. Amen. Come on now, y'all like that. You don't know the game. Okay. Come on now. You got to know how the game is played to be able to play, it, don't you? Right. Yeah. That was. Yeah. It was all right. But the second invitation, they didn't mind. The first one was good because they believed that God had called them to be his people, but they insulted God. Mm -hmm. I said they insulted God. Don't you know you can insult God? Oh. 
Oh, good morning. Y'all got quiet. Now, the Bible says you can even rob God. Yeah. Don't the Bible say that? Yeah. Come on, now. We got to know our scriptures. How are we going to be able to fight the devil? We don't know what's in the book. The Bible says you can even rob God. By your time. Yeah, you refuse. You're not paying your time to offer. God is saying you put the gun up on me. You know you can't do nothing with it, but you put the gun up on me. Because you're not paying your tithes at all. So we find out these folks insulting God because they refuse him to believe in his son. Yeah. So the Bible says because they refuse the second invitation, therefore, that the master of the house sent his servants into the streets yes. to invite the needy to his bank. Yeah. So God sent his son, Jesus Christ, spiritually, to the whole world of needy people. Amen. Y'all know any needy people? Yes. Amen. I said, y'all know any needy people? Yes. I know we look out and we say, well, the needy people are everybody else. I'm telling you, you know the needy people. Yes. Right. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, we all in need of something. Yes, right. we are. I said, we all in need of something. Yes. I don't know about you. I don't got a baby, but I need some help every time I can get some. Yes, right. I'm going to tell you, I'm too bad for an opportunity when God's going to be. I need help. Amen. Yes. Amen. And I need it right now. So God sent his son into this world of needy people. Yeah. Why did he do it to tell them yeah. that God's kingdom had arrived? Yes. Yes. Not that it's coming, but it has arrived. Don't you know that it's here right now? Yes, it is. I know when you look at Fox 2, you might not believe that it's here. But I'm going to tell you, it's here right now. Yeah. Yes, it is. How do I know? Because God has told me this word that it has arrived. And was ready for them. Uh -huh. Now, as we look at this particular text, the Bible says that Jesus spoke to them again in parables, saying, Now, remember that a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly or spiritual meaning. Yes. And God said, started as He said, Now, the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. is like a king who prepared a wedding banquet for his son. Yeah. And he sent his service to those who had been invited to the bank. I mean, they got the invitation. To tell them to come, but now it's ready. Right. But the Bible said, like some folks, they refuse to come. Uh -huh. and you know, I remember one time my father, an ex pastor, told me, and I, I was questioning them. But he said, you know, that folks are on their way to hell and they enjoy the trip. For how could you deny an invitation from God? But the Bible said that they refused. Now, who are these servants that God sent to invite folks? Well, spiritually, they are you and I. They are the ministers of the gospel. Go ahead. They're not any kind of ministers, you understand? Because they serve the most high God. Yeah. Don't you know there's a whole lot of gods out there? I don't want you to get it confused. But this one guy is with a little G. Now, I know some of my guys are booed and booed and all of but I, I'm trying to tell you, there's only one most high guy. Yeah. Yes. And don't you know all the other guys, they dead. Yeah. I see them other guys are dead. They can't do that funny. Man. Don't you know when you're in the grave, you didn't ask nobody to tell I need some help. But that's over. You, if you need some help from now, you need to get what ain't on this side. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Yes. Yeah. So he went to, they were servants of the most high guys. And the Bible said, not all men were their servants of the most high God, those ministers that he sent. But those were ministers that were chosen and ordained by him. Yeah. Those were ministers that were called and were sent by him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell you, we live in a day's time where folks are sending themselves. Yeah. Mm. Oh, no. I said, folks are sending themselves. All right. Yeah. But don't the scriptures say, how can they preach? Unless they were sent. I'm going to tell you that God will qualify and God is the one that employs. And let me explain something about qualifying. We're talking about when God has sent you. Amen. And you know, so a lot of times when we get our calling from the Lord, we're not ready. I say we're not ready. Yeah, yeah, we don't want that question, God. But God, how am I going to do that? But don't you know that God knows everything about you? Yes. And see what the situation is. God has called you, but you are not yet qualified. But don't you know that God will qualify you? Amen. Oh, yeah, God will send some things in your life, some trials and some tribulations. Come on, somebody. Yes. Yeah, but the Bible said that God tries us to refine us like pure God. God will send some things. Yes. They will have you say, oh, Lord, I need some stress. 
and fat cattle have been butchered. And everything is ready to come to the way. Bam. Now, I don't know about you, but he said everything was apparent. He said, now my eyes and I, I took the time and put it on the side and fed especially just me. Yeah. yeah, I want them to be ready so that when they butcher, there's going to be plenty of meat. All right. Yeah, I've done everything for you. Now, I'm going to tell you, I know, I know y'all like bangers. I said, I know y'all like bangers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and especially church folks, we, we love, we like to eat, don't we? Yeah, I've seen some of you at the picnic. I know you like to eat. Oh, yeah. and, and, and you know the one thing we like about bangers? Mm -hmm. You see, at a banquet, we, we know that a lot of our favorite food is that. All right. And I know in, in a bank, we know not only is our favorite food that, but we can eat. eat right. Come on, somebody. Yeah. I know we can eat all that we want to eat. Right. At bank. I know we love banks. He said everything is great. Come. And don't they show you how much God loved us? You know, we already sent him out of the house. And folks said no. But God loves you so much that God will still keep trying. Don't the Bible say that God first loved us? I'm saying when we were turning our back on God. Right. I'm saying when we had other things to do. Yeah. Now I ain't got time to go to church, but you know we got a party going on up in here. All right. But I'm chasing that dollar. You know I'm all about to pay. Uh -huh. God will still send us invitations yes, to come yes. to the bank. Yes. Sometimes you use grandma. Sometimes you use grandpa. Oh, yeah. Sometimes you use mom and dad. Sometimes it's a next door neighbor. Right. Telling you, why don't you come to church? Yeah. God wasn't giving up on us. But the Bible said that they still, God had gave them an invitation three times. But yet, they rejected the invitation. And I'm going to tell you this morning that God is still giving out invitations. Yes, yes. God wants you, 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 and all of us to join Him in the bank. Yes. The bank that will last for all eternity. Yes. That's why God sends us invitations again and again and again. Yes. And I just want to ask you a personal question. You ask it to yourself Have you accepted the invitation? Yes. Amen. And have you? Accepted them. Now, don't worry about nobody else if they get invitation. Come on, somebody. You know, we can call that church sometimes. We always worry about what somebody else is doing. How they, what they going to wear to the park. What you going to wear to the park. Have you been invited to the park? But the Bible says in the text, but they paid no attention. Not only they didn't pay attention, but the Bible said they went off. They didn't want to hear no more. Mm -hmm. The Bible said that one went to his feet mm -hmm. and another to his dick. They didn't take the invitation seriously. Mm -hmm. They neglected the ministry of the gospel. Mm -hmm. Somebody might ask why it was simply, they just didn't care for it. Mm -hmm. They didn't have any regard for what was said. Yeah. Their thoughts on days, they were engaged in other things. They referred things to the body versus things to the soul. Yeah. They preferred things that were temporal to things that are eternal. Yeah. And not only that, that they rejected what God's invitation. The Bible says that they went on and seized his servants. They mistreated and they killed them. Yeah. Don't you know that some folks that don't appreciate God will try to hurt you? Yeah. I say some folks will try to hurt you. Amen. Don't you forget now back in your history, don't you know that Christians were thrown into the arena? Oh, yeah. yeah. Come on, somebody. Yeah. For the lions and the bears yeah. to mistreat and kill? Yeah. Yeah. Don't the Bible say that Nero so hated Christians that he would hey, put them up in a stake mm -hmm. and set them on fire? And somebody would ask, why would you do that? Well, the Bible, well they tell you, 